Hey yo, hey yo, good people. My name is Samuel and I'm here at Uhuru Park today. I wanna, today I'm commissioning my own YouTube channel and I'm starting here at Uhuru Park. So I'm here at Uhuru Park. I'm going to take you through the history of this place, some important things that goes around at this place and more so the monument that are in this place. Welcome back. So now this is a newly commissioned or elected monument in the Republic of Kenya that is in Uhuru Park. This was as a result of a, an in out of court after um, a group of Kenyans sued the British government for the torture that happened during 1952 to 1960. It was commissioned uh, and elected to commemorate the Mau Mau. Commemorate Mau Mau war the veterans. Fought for the independence and the contribution of women in the uh, fight for independence. So, let me take you through. So here, you can, as you can see from here, there is a tree that was planted by the then governor of Nairobi, Ivan Skidero. Here there are some writings that were written by to commemorate him that says Maumau War Veterans Association and uh, Honorable Dr. Evans Adhiambo Kidelo, Governor of Nairobi City, planted this tree to commemorate the inauguration of the memorial that happened around, around 2011 and 2013. So here are some writings as you enter through to the memorial. Uh, justice be our children and defender. Those are lines in the Kenyan's national anthem, justice be our shield and defender. So, as you can see, people are just chilling and around this monument, the tourist attraction. So, here there's, this is the significance. This is the significance of this memorial. So, you can see a woman and a man. They are looking away from each other. The reason as to why they are looking away from each other is to learn how they were, if in case they were caught by the colonial masters, they will be unable to recognize each other. The way is not that conducive, so. The woman seems to be handling a man uh, a basket. Maybe we can assume it's a basket of food. These were women that contributed in the fight again for independence. If I could be asked to name this, the woman who was handling a basket of food to this man, I could say General Masha Mudoni. This woman was very low and she was never captured by Coronios since Kenya became under British colony and it gained independent in 1963. She played a bigger part. She was also, These were, uh, as you can see, the man is holding his weapons. So when being handled for he will be ready in case the colonial masters appear, so maybe capture them. Here are some lightings that commemorate this monument and the freedom fighters. Uh, they are written in Swahili, that is the, maybe the national language, or the most spoken language in Kenya. Jeshi la Kenya na aldi na ukombozi de maumau. As you can see, women and men and women uh, who contributed in the fight during uh, when they were in the war, 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 war. The recognition of their contributions, the readiness and I'm 
memorial to the victims of torture and ill treatment during the colonial era 1952-1960. Actually, those who don't know, 1950, it was the first the, when the British masters declared a state of emergency since the Mau Mau fighters were so lethal and killed most of the colonial masters. So these words were written to commemorate them. For those who don't know the history of Kenya, here are some lightings that uh, the, this memorial was inaugurated on 12 September 2015 by the Mau Mau War Veterans Kenya Human Rights Commission and British High Commission together with the government of Kenya. That was 2011 to 2013 when there was an in and out of court after a few members of the Mau Mau seen the British government for the torture that happened Torture yeah, that for the happened women and women who fought for the independence. The state of emergency. Uh, state of emergency was declared by the colonial administration on 21st, 1952. During the emergency, many Kenyans were detained without trial and some were subjected to torture and other reforms of ill treatment in detention camps lands by the colonial administration. Many were killed. Uh -huh. That uh, yeah. the Mau Mau movement, the Kenya Land and Freedom Army, Kefla, popularly referred to as Mau Mau, was a national movement that opposed British colonial rule in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. The recognition, the recognition, the reconciliation. The British government understand the pain and grievances piled by those who were involved in the event. The emergency in Kenya, the British government, uh -huh. you can read them and know their retro history about the Kenya. So, Kipindi Chahatari, those are Kipindi Chahali, Hatari, those are the Swahili lightings for those who understand Swahili.